Special thanks to NerdWallet for sponsoring this portion of today's video. As a lot of you guys already know, I recently bought a second home as an investment property and it needed a little fixing up. As you can imagine, anytime you take on a renovation or remodeling project like that, the expenses add up really quickly. This is where NerdWallet comes in clutch. Whether you're looking to maximize your spending with a rewards card like I'm definitely trying to do with my renovation projects, or you're deciding which travel credit card to use to book your next beach trip, NerdWallet helps you make the best decisions about which credit cards are right for you. So for my renovation projects, I've had to make a lot of big ticket purchases like flooring, appliances, blinds, you name it. So it was important that I found a credit card with great cash back rewards. NerdWallet's credit card list is updated every month so you can easily see which credit cards have the best intro offers and rewards rates. So NerdWallet can really help you make smart decisions about how to pay for big purchases like this. You can also use NerdWallet's side by side comparison tool to compare features that are most important to you, like a travel card for an upcoming trip or a cash back card with great rewards on the things that you buy most often. So are you ready to make smarter financial decisions? Compare and find the smartest credit cards, high yield savings accounts, and more at nerdwallet.com. Thanks to NerdWallet for sponsoring that portion of the video. Hey guys, what's up, it's Raven. As most of you probably already know, I closed on my very first investment property in April of this year. It's a one story single family home that was built in 1999 and I bought it here in Austin, Texas for $503,000 which I know sounds like a lot, but the market here in Austin has just been crazy and that's just what the prices look like right now. The plan was to remodel the home, turn it into a rental property and use it as a long-term investment. I worked with Carrie, who was my design consultant and over the past four months, she helped me remodel this entire home. In my last update video, I showed you how they were making progress with a lot of the demolition and had started to install some of the new items, but I wanted to get you guys caught up and show you guys the final reveal because the house is finished now. So picking up where we left off back towards the end of May, they had made some progress by cleaning up the front yard. They had also made a lot of progress in the kitchen. The countertops were going in, the backsplash was going in. And then I also met with Carrie to discuss next steps because we thought we were going to not have to paint the house because it was freshly painted when I purchased the house. But basically through the process of all the demolition and everything, the walls did get scuffed up and messed up. And so ultimately we decided that it was gonna be worth it to just go and have the whole house completely repainted. We also needed to discuss some final finishes such as lighting, mirrors, and different little things like that that we hadn't picked out yet. But overall it was looking really good and I was starting to be able to see how it was all coming together. Then about a week later, I went back to the house and they had made even more progress in the kitchen and they had also made a lot of progress with the doors throughout the home. They all needed to be repainted as well as the brand new back door. Over the course of these seven or eight total weeks, I basically went to check on the house at least once a week just to make sure everything was going smoothly and that I didn't need to stop and change anything or add anything. All right, it is Sunday, June 12th, and we just pulled up to the rental property. Zaya is with me. This is Zaya's second time seeing it because we normally don't have her with us when we're over here checking it out. She has seen it once before. You saw the house whenever like we first bought it, right? Like before we started doing anything to it. So Zaya is about to see all of the updates for the first time because she really hasn't seen it. I came over here because I have mirrors, doormats, and light fixtures that need to go in here. And I wanna double check these mirrors because I'm not sure if these are going to be like the right thing. So I wanna bring this stuff inside. And I also just wanted to check on everything that's been going on over the last week. So let's see. So first update that I'm noticing today is the grass has been put down but it's looking a bit dry I already talked to my mom about it the sprinkler system is outdated so it hasn't been running we have to probably replace the whole sprinkler system because it's super super old so in the meantime we're having to make sure that this grass gets hand watered but it's been like a hundred 105 degrees the past few days so the grass has been struggling but it's fresh grass so we want to make sure that it doesn't die but it looks good I don't know how much y'all can really see with all this like weird lighting they still have to come back and do 
these little tree bed things because we're not keeping these rocks. We're gonna just do like plain mulch instead of these like red rocks or whatever. So you can see they started to put the mulch in. We're just doing like black mulch like I have at my house because it just makes it look a little bit more updated and modern. They started to put the mulch in this part but they ran out. So they're gonna come back and put it here and over there. We're gonna get rid of all these little random pots and stuff that were left behind. So we're just kind of in the process of gathering them up. A lot of little like tchotchkes. Like I think the person who lived here was into making things out of cement. So there's a lot of like little things like this and rocks and stuff everywhere that we have to kind of clean up because I just want everything to be neutralized if that makes sense. We don't want it to look cluttered. So like all this type of stuff that they left behind, we've got to get rid of that. So this is the stuff I had to bring over. I ordered these light fixtures for the master bathroom. And then I got two of these mirrors for the master bathroom. I got these two doormats. I'm just trying to collect the last few little finishing touch type things that we were missing. So I'm gonna bring this inside. Does it look different since the last time you saw it? Can you tell the differences? I think the fridge Yeah, the fridge was like moved out the way, I think. But what else? Look around the kitchen. What do you think looks fresh and new in here? The That's the dishwasher. That's a new dishwasher, new sink, new countertop, new cabinets, new backsplash. How does it look? It looks like it's new. Someone used to live in here and someone's gonna live in here pretty soon because Ooh, we're almost fan. done. No, that's the old fan. The new fan is over here. This is the new fan that's gonna go up. I got these doormats just because a lot of like dirt and stuff was getting trapped in and out of the house. So we're gonna, of course, clean the whole house anyway, but I don't know, I thought it was a nice thing to just have because there's no mats right now. And whenever I do rent it out, maybe I'll leave them for the renters to use. So I've got that smaller one for the front and this bigger one for the back. So originally they had these like tiles down on the patio. My brother came over and helped get rid of those. It left behind this mess. So we need to like get this power wash probably. There's some more tiles. These ones were just like little plastic tiles. These ones are like actual cement tiles. We're gonna have to do something with that. And these are all the little tchotchkes I was talking about that the previous owner left behind. Like there's just so many little crafts and like little cement blocks and shapes and sculptures and rocks. Just a lot of little things. Like this is like a wine holder, but it's like little cement bottles on it. There's a lot all around. So it needs to all be cleaned up, but then it's like all these little random pavers, little random, like it's just very random and kind of messy and junky looking. And I want it to just be completely cleared out and just plain grass. We don't need any plant beds. We don't need any of this like edging or pavers or lights, we don't need anything that's back here. It just needs to be a plain, empty yard. That way, the renters can kind of just have a blank slate and it's easier to manage and maintain and it's just like, you know, like a blank slate for renters. So, there's still a good bit of work that needs to be done. I was trying to at least put this doormat down so that we're not tracking in a lot of dirt, but I don't want to put it down because this needs to be like cleared off first. It needs to go like right here. I guess I'll just leave it here for now. I think this is a DIY. They kind of like glued these little rocks into this little crevice, which is interesting. And then they still need to finish the other side of this door, the new door that they put in. They haven't like obviously finished the framing yet. But yeah, it's about time to just start installing all the little finishing touches. So the bathroom accessories, like these things, towel bar, toilet paper bar. This is the light fixture that's going in here in the guest bathroom. You know, all the little things that need to be added new drain plug because that one's nasty and i'm still missing a mirror for in here i've been looking around everywhere i cannot find the right size mirror for a good price but that is literally the very last thing needed for in here and then of course just cleaning up and this bathroom will be done for the first bedroom the door just needs to be put back on we got the new fresh door it just needs to be put on everything's freshly painted the last thing that needs to be done is new 
blinds. We were gonna leave these old blinds, but as we looked closer throughout the house, a lot of them are damaged and they're just not like a nice style of blinds anyway. So we thought it would be better to just go through and replace the whole house so the whole house can be matching with fresh blinds. So these are faux wood blinds. I think these are from Home Depot. So that's gonna go in here as well as throughout the whole entire house. So every single window is gonna have them. And that's gonna look a lot better. It's really gonna like update the house, I think. At first we were just only gonna replace the blinds in here in the master bedroom because this is where they're like actually broken. We were just gonna do them in here, but then it's like, mm, you know, you might as well do the whole house because it's not gonna look good to have fresh blinds in the master bedroom, but the rest of the house has like the old blinds that are kind of raggedy anyway. So yeah, we bought them for the whole entire house. Okay, so in here in the master bathroom, once again, we have the little accessories ready to go, ready to be installed, all the little towel bar thingies, new blinds for in here ready to go, toilet paper holder ready to go. These are the lights that I just brought over. I think they should work fine. It's just the brushed nickel so it matches like the faucet and everything and that'll go instead of that. It's like a two light and then the little light shades are just white like this. I think that'll look good. Just white to match the cabinets and silver to match the faucets. Yeah. The thing that I wasn't sure about was these mirrors. I got these at at home. I was looking for either two mirrors I can go side by side or one big mirror. This is what I ended up finding it's like a silver textured frame i wasn't crazy about this but now that i'm looking at them in here i don't mind it i think these mirrors could work obviously they're going to be like mounted nicely centered on the wall and everything but i feel like the silver like it kind of goes right so yeah you have the light fixture which really matches perfectly this silver is a little bit like of a different type of silver but i don't think it's like bad because i really couldn't find anything else i was looking for something Something very very simple just some sort of simple framed mirror that would match with this vibe and I don't know why I was just having trouble finding anything in the right size and I looked online and everything but I have had horrible luck with ordering mirrors online anyway like every time I've ordered a mirror online it has arrived shattered so I didn't really want to order anything online and yeah so this is what I ended up finding in stores I think it'll be fine I keep saying that, but I'm like, really? I think it will. Okay, so that's everything for this room. They're gonna come back within the next couple of days to install everything. And then this bathroom will also be complete. And then by July 13th, the remodel was pretty much finished. So let me show you the final reveal. Okay, it's finally time for the final reveal of the rental remodel. Aside from like a few tiny little things, which I'll point out to you guys, but for the most part, the house is done. So let me give you the final tour. So starting at the the front door the main things that are different here is that we painted the front door black it used to be like a red color but I think the black looks a lot more modern and chic and updated so that was an easy fix everything else pretty much with the door is the same we did also peel off the tacky kind of stained glass film like privacy stuff that was on here you can see that we need to do some touch-up paint here which we will do but that just looks a lot better just with nothing on it we also do have some film that we can put on it that's just like plain to give you privacy you'll notice throughout the whole house has been freshly painted. So from the front door all the way throughout the whole house, fresh paint. And something else that's different is the light fixture above here. They had kind of a little statement pendant light hanging. I felt like it just wasn't really the style I was going for. So I switched it out for a simple can light. So then you walk through to your right and you have the kitchen, which by this point you guys have seen the kitchen before, but you haven't seen it in its fully finished state. So main call out in the kitchen are new flooring, which it's new flooring throughout the entire home. We have this LVT flooring. It's kind of in like a in-between taupey color that I really like. It's not too warm, not too gray. So everything is fresh from the base up. And then on top of that, we did the cabinets. So we just did the cabinet fronts because the cabinet base was still in really good shape, but all fresh new cabinet fronts, fresh white paint and fresh cabinet pulls on on the cabinets as well as on some of the lower cabinets we kind of reconfigured the way that they were to give more storage space so everything with the cabinets is a lot more just like updated and functional now and something that i didn't even
even realize at first is that they are soft clothes, which is nice. That's always a nice feature to have. Other big update is a brand new stainless steel dishwasher. Brand new, still got the tag on it and everything. That definitely needed to be updated as well as the sink. So brand new farmhouse sink, which I think is a really nice touch in here. Brand new sink faucet that has a soap dispenser with it and everything. And of course, brand new cabinets. And we also updated the way that this countertop is. We extended it so that you would have more space to actually use it as a bar. So you can put bar stools on the other side. And I'll show you what it looks like from the other side in a minute too. On this side, something you'll notice is the backsplash. I went for like an artisan subway tile. White subway tile is super classic. I think it's good for a rental home like this because I think it's kind of a nice standard that a lot of people will like. But I didn't wanna do just your plain everyday subway tile. So I went for the artisan look, which just has like a little bit more texture and pizzazz to it. But it's still, like I said, a nice basic thing that I think a lot of people will like. And that's also the overall style that I was going for in the whole house is I wanted it to be cute. I kind of wanted to put my own little style into it a little bit, but I also wanted it to kind of be like a blank slate for the renters. So that's why I chose this countertop that kind of just had neutral gray tones in it, white cabinets, neutral floors, just so people could kind of put their own design on top of it. Of course, we have the stove and the oven, the microwave, which did not need to be replaced because they were in great condition, super clean, worked perfectly. Same thing goes for the fridge. This did not need to be replaced. It would only be for aesthetics to change it, but it's in great condition. So we're gonna leave this for now. And when it actually does need to be replaced, I can definitely replace it later on down the road, but it just wasn't necessary yet. And then something else that was changed in here was the lighting. So I did these simple can lights throughout the whole home. Some areas they were added in to actually bring in more light and some areas they were switching out kind of a different outdated light fixture that they had. Then you swing around from the kitchen and you have this kind of, it's an eat-in kitchen, so it's a dining area. And I changed out this light fixture for something a lot more cute and modern, this kind of black iron light fixture. And something else that's updated in here is the blinds. So we actually updated the blinds throughout the whole entire home. These are like the nice wood look blinds, not those plasticky ones that get bent really easily. And what they had in here before was actually like a fabric type of thing that was collecting a lot of dust. So these are a lot better. It just really freshened up the house to have these on all the windows and the nice white color. So I think that was a really good investment and it really didn't cost as much as I thought it would either. You also have your pantry over here. Didn't need much work aside from fresh coat of paint and fresh doorknobs, which is another thing we had to do throughout the whole entire house. Every single door has a new fresh doorknob. The next space over here to the left is what we're calling the flex room because it's very flexible. You can use it as a formal dining room. You could set it up as an office. You could set it up as a playroom, really whatever you need it to be. Um, so it's just kind of a nice big blank space with added lighting to brighten it up even more. Updated blinds as well. I like this big window. Of course, the flooring and the fresh paint and everything like that. And then there is also a little coat closet right here. So this house actually has a lot of storage throughout. Once again, fresh paint, fresh doorknobs, same thing over here. This is the door to the garage, fresh paint, fresh doorknobs. And then this is a very open concept house. So it's all open to the living room. So you can see what I was talking about here with the way that we extended out the countertop here. So you have a nice bar space. You could put probably like at least four bar stools here to use this area. And it just opens up into the living room. So I think the intended configuration is to put your TV here in between the windows and then you would kind of have your sofa and sectional kind of going this way. But it's really big, high ceilings. Everything just feels a lot bigger in here too because of this new light paint color, the new white blinds, which kind of brighten it up and adding all of the can lighting. And something else that we added is a brand new fan. They had like a modern looking fan before, but it was just kind of weird looking. So I just went for something very simple that matched all the brushed nickel finishes throughout the home. And then of course, 
course you have the new flooring and everything like the rest of the home. And something else that is brand new in here is this door. So we actually had to completely rip out the existing door because it was broken and we replaced it with these white French doors and then we added on this kind of built in behind the glass blind system, which is really cool. I'd actually never seen this before, but it's good because you don't have to worry about your blinds getting messed up or getting dusty or anything like that. So it just has little controls on the side where you can open and close them. And then these doors lead out onto the little back patio, which I'll show you later. So then you go down the hallway and this leads you into all the bedrooms and bathrooms. So I'll show you the first bathroom. So this is the bathroom that these two bedrooms over here would share. And this is completely updated, brand new light fixture, brand new mirror, new sink, new countertop, new cabinet fronts with the drawer pulls and all the matching accessories, the towel ring, the toilet paper ring, the other towel bar over here, and the shower bath fixtures are all brand new brushed nickel to match each other. We did not need to get a new toilet because that was in great condition. We did not need to get a new bathtub, but we did refinish the inside of the bathtub. So it looks brand new because they basically put a brand new coating on it, but we didn't have to completely rip everything out. Another thing to note in here is the flooring. I really like the way that this white tile turned out and how it goes with the countertops in here, which this is a different countertop than obviously what's in the kitchen. And you'll see how the master bathroom matches the kitchen, but this one's kind of like its own statement countertop, which I think is a cute touch. Then we can go into the first bedroom. So there's kind of like two sister bedrooms in here. This is the first one. You may remember that this one was the one with the kitty hole cut out of this closet door. This door, we had to get a brand new door, but we just got it to match the rest of them perfectly. So you would never know. Nice little closet in here, fresh paint in here, fresh flooring. We were able to save the fan in here because that was in really good condition. And then right next door, you have the other bedroom. So like I said, this is kind of a sister bedroom. It's pretty much the same as that one. Same kind of window thing with the new blinds, same fan that we were able to save, same updates in here. This closet door, we did not need to get a new one. We just had to paint it and get the new doorknob. And this closet does have a different type of storage shelving in here. So that was nice that that was already in there. Across from the bedrooms is this little hall closet or utility closet or whatever you want to call it. But again, just kind of that extra storage, which I think is really nice for linens and stuff like that and it's right next to the laundry room. So one great thing about the laundry room is that the previous homeowners left us this washer and dryer, which were in really good condition. So this is something that I'll be able to provide to my renters without having to you know, purchase it myself. So that's really nice. They had them stacked up on top of each other, which I don't prefer that because it was blocking the window. So I think it's nice to have them like this. That way you actually get that light coming in from the window and it kind of gives you some usable space on top of the washer and dryer. You can kind of use this to fold clothes or whatever on top of it. And then from the laundry room, you have the primary bedroom. So obviously since this is the primary bedroom, it's bigger than those other two. It's actually very spacious. And again, it just looks a lot more big and open because of the paint and the added lighting, the can lights that I added. I was able to save the fan because that already looked good, but I just added these four can lights. New floor, new paint, like I keep saying, new blinds, like I keep saying, fresh paint on the doors, fresh doorknobs. This room in particular, had very funky colorful doorknobs so it looks so much better now that they're all matching. The closet really didn't need much besides the flooring and the paint because they already had the shelving in here which I think is nice and there's actually more shelving if you come in here into the corner there's like this whole other set of shelves in here too. And then you have the primary bathroom. So this bathroom got a full facelift even more so than the other bathroom because we actually completely ripped out all the cabinetry and countertop and everything 
everything and did a whole brand new set of cabinetry. We kind of maximized the space because what they had before was like smaller, but we fully went wall to wall with it to maximize your storage space. And then this is from the same slab in the kitchen. So it coordinates with the kitchen countertop. And then we have the brand new sink, brand new faucet. I picked out these mirrors to match with all the brushed nickel silver stuff, new light fixtures to match with everything as well. And all the accessories are brand new as well. So the towel bars, toilet paper holder and everything. Also same thing with the tub in here. We kept the same shower tub, but we just got it refinished on the inside. So it's freshly refinished on the inside. And then we have the fresh new fixtures for the shower and the tub. And then same thing, we did not need to get a new toilet, but we did just kind of freshen up back here with the new towel bar, new cabinet front on this little cabinet and cabinet pool. Okay, as for the outside of the home, here in the front, we really didn't have to do anything to the front of the house itself, aside from the landscaping. So everything you see here is still the same. It was in really good condition, but we did do some cleanup work with the landscaping. It's still a work in progress, so don't judge it. I know the grass is overgrown. I know, <laughs> we're still gonna fix it up, but just to kind of show you what the plan is, we had to clean out a lot of little tchotchkes and pots and stuff here in the front and then replace the mulch just to give it a clean finished look. We had to replace the grass on both side so we're just kind of letting it grow in right now that's why it's overgrown of course we will cut that down and make it look all pretty as well as just kind of cleaning up kind of plant beds on both sides so just slight landscaping cleanup work that we're still working on nothing too crazy in the front so for the backyard like i said you come through the french doors in the living room and you have this little step down onto this kind of patio area which we cleaned off and had power washed because there was a bunch of stuff on here and it was dirty so it definitely looks a lot better than it did and the door looks a lot better we're still working on the yard itself though. So don't mind all this over here and some of the little leftover tchotchkes we're still working on cleaning up. And then as for the yard itself, same thing. We're still working on it. It's a work in progress for the actual like yard, the grass and everything. But we did do some cleanup work as far as ripping out all the stuff that was in here. There was like flower beds here, there and over there. And there was just a lot of like stuff back here that we had to clean up and get rid of. So it's already looking a lot better, a lot more just clean but we do still have some landscaping work to do to fully finish it. And this back fence is gonna be replaced as well. So once all that's done, it's gonna look a lot better back here. All in all, I'm super happy with how this remodel turned out. And I'm actually really proud of myself since this is my first investment property and my first time doing a project like this. I know I still have a lot to learn. I plan on buying more properties and continuing down this journey. All in all, this remodel did cost about $56,000, of course, on top of the price that I bought the house for. So this is definitely a big investment, but it is a long-term investment, meaning that I'm not necessarily trying to make a profit off of this rental property right away. The cost of rent will cover my mortgage payments for now and then eventually I will start earning a profit. Really right now I'm just excited about the fact that I created a cute nice fresh place for someone to live. So I'm really excited for someone to move into this home. Let me know what you guys think of the remodel in the comments down below and stay tuned to see what I do with my next property.